In this video, I will show you how you can create this kind of double exposure effect using Photoshop. So let's get started. Hey what's up guys, Dhruval here back with another video and as you can see this is the original model image and this is the background image that we are going to use. Now both of these images are from pexabay.com and if you want to use them, the download link is in video description so feel free to use it. So let's start with the model. Now we need to cut her out from the background and it's a fairly simple image. Uh, so let's go and right click here and you see your quick selection tool and just make a selection of her uh, like that. Uh, it will not take time I chose this image so that you, you can practice easily. So the selection is ready but it's a little bit rough so to make it softer you can click on this refine edge option. And there all you have to do is just paint on the edges using your brush. You don't even have to select it, it has been selected by default. So just go and paint over the edges uh, to make it softer. Now since it's double exposure, the edges doesn't matter that much. All you need is decent cutout and once this is done, go and simply hit OK. If you don't have this refine edge option, just simply skip it, uh, there's nothing else you can do. <laughs> So after the selection is done and we have done refine edge, you have to click on this third option here that is layer mask and go and apply it. So it will remove the background uh, and now we have to apply a white background. So to do that go and click on the second last icon that will create a new blank layer. Put it under your model layer. Then go and select this paint bucket tool here, right click and select paint bucket. And make sure you have white color here. You can click here to for default colors and then you can flip it. So here we have white color, go and simply fill it. So as you can see now we have this model on a white background. And it's time to add in our building image. So go back to your building uh, image here, go and press Ctrl A to make a selection of it. Then press Ctrl C to copy this image, go back here and press Ctrl V so we paste it. So now you have to put, uh, this is the order, okay? Your building layer should be in middle, model layer on top and white layer at complete bottom. Once that is done, select your layer zero, the model layer, click on that and change the blending mode to lighten. So now as you can see, the model has, oops, <laughs> I made a mistake, control Z. So now as you can see, the model is fading really nice. And uh, all we have to do is cut out the rest of the building image, right? So you can apply the same mask on the layer too. So to do that, hold down your Alter key and then don't release your Alter key. And if you are on Macintosh, uh, use Option key. Hold down that and then go and release this on second layer. And there you have it. We have same cutout on the building too. Now you say, I want to move these buildings around a little bit. So to do that, go and unlink this thing from here, as you can see from layer mask and then select your building thing here. The layer mask and building both are different things. So go and select your building layer and then press Ctrl T. So it will allow you to rotate things uh, if you want to do that. It can, you can make it bigger, smaller or you can just simply move it around like I'm doing, whatever you want. So I'm gonna move it uh, the way we can see one eye and nose and lips. So it looks really good in composition. And let's make it slightly smaller and put it here. So that looks uh, fairly good. Uh, might make it a little bigger. Take your time, don't rush these things. Uh, so then go and confirm it. Now as you can see, she looks but uh, a little bit more faded. So to make solution for that, you have this layer zero, right? So you make a copy of it and then you press Ctrl J. So it will make a duplicate of it. And then you change this uh, layer blending mode from lighten to normal. So we have regular model image here with a layer mask cut out. And after that, make sure you have selected mask of your normal blend layer mode on the model. So mask, not the image, but the layer mask. And once that mask is selected, make sure that your foreground color is black. As you can see here, you can flip it here so it's black. And then you press Alter Backspace. It did nothing, it just hide everything on this normal blend mode layer. 
everything is there but it is hidden under the black layer mask now you go and select your brush tool this regular one right click and brush tool and here in the option make sure your hardness is 0% so you have softer brush nothing else then you zoom in here and you paint with white color uh, we hide everything with black color okay so we paint with white color to bring it back so we need it only on this area so I will paint there with my white color so I bring that back a little bit of shadow looks good uh, gives it more like a dimension uh, you can keep it if you like it uh, or remove it if it's too much so this way you can bring any portion of the image back with white color see like that uh, on normal blend mode and here on the light and blend mode as you can see this is working for the uh, rest of the area so the effect is ready and it is looking good but we have to do a little bit of touch up because whenever you create double exposure uh, it will either make it way too contrasty or it will kill out a lot of contrast so it's a little bit dull on my side so i will go and create a new adjustment layer and i will select uh, curves as you can see here and in the curves uh, to get the look that i need make a dot in middle a dot here and here you by default have a dot so what do you do is you bring this dot up like this uh, yeah and then you bring this one down so this way you create contrast but you also lift up the shadows it's a popular look film look and also I'm gonna make it slightly brighter from here and adjust these three points until you get the look that you want okay don't care about my look so this is looking good to me uh, perhaps a little bit more contrast it doesn't matter then I will go and do the same in the blue uh, but in the blue I will be really careful that I don't overdo it uh, so slight amount of blue uh, is good yeah that's nice uh, now go and create another curves adjustment just like this and here I will just go and simply lift up this point and the same way I will go to my blue channel here and I will lift this one also a little bit not too much just a slight okay yeah that looks good so here it is without adjustment and here it is with adjustment and if you want to make it black and white just go here on adjustment layer and select black and white and there you have the black and white version but my favorite version is color version so i would like to keep that so that's it and i really hope that you guys learned something from this video and if you did hit that like button if you have any kind of questions or suggestions uh, feel free to ask me in the comment section below and if you want to check out even more double exposure effects like this that i have done in past uh, click on any of these boxes and you can also subscribe to my channel so every time I upload a new video you will get the update plus when you click on that subscribe button it will take you to my youtube channel where I have more than 90 free photoshop tutorials just waiting for you so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop